powerful songs as well too. I mean, oh, I'm powerful. glad you like them. Yeah, yeah, they're nice. Speaking of, of songs in particular, though, is there any song or musical passage that's not your own that never fails to move you emotionally? Oh, my gosh, yes. I am such a sucker <laughs> for songs. I mean, you know, it, it can be anything. I love all music. I always have. And, uh, I mean, it can be anything. It can be anything. Um, we always said around the house of course my uh my partner is the world's biggest kiss fan so always kiss is playing in my home but for me i find that um yeah saturday mornings uh you know before covid when i was still a gym rat and going to the gym i listen to a lot of middle eastern music or bangra or um there's a there's a turkish artist that i love is my favorite artist uh named Chitarkan. And uh, I listen to a lot of a lot of music like that. It always gives me energy. It makes me happy. Um, it, you know the rhythms and and all the instrumentation just always makes me happy. But so does Fugazi. <laughs> uh, you know, whenever I hear waiting room, I'm always happy. <laughs> or, you know, it's like music has a as a way of doing that to us uh, and causing us to have these you know uh, really. Um, I guess responses, you know, very pleasurable. Uh, they hit our mood centers, and they can be very transformational. And, and also, in the same regard, music gives us an opportunity to feel things. Maybe we don't always give ourselves permission to feel. That's why sad songs are so important. Um, so yeah, I love sad songs too. They give us a chance to to cry and put them on repeat. You know, sometimes people are. Um, trying hard to to keep keep it together and to be brave and to to suck it up and sad songs allow us to let our guard down for a minute. So I love it all. <laughs> I love every piece of music. Oh, that's great. Question of actually from a fan, uh, Walter Riggy from Riggy Media International. He uh, he asks, which which song of yours has the most meaning in your life, and is it a difficult one to perform? Wow. Yes, there's so many of the songs. I mean, you know, I guess a lot of the songs are, you know, they're kind of about my lived experience, certainly from uh, writing from my lyrics. And, you know, everyone would think that it was, for example, Lucky. You know, Lucky is uh, always uh, a favorite song for people uh, because it has meaning for them. And it does for me, too. But the song that really gets me, believe it or not, is a song called Choking on the Truth. Uh, Choking on the Truth is, it makes me, chokes me up, like literally chokes me up when we're trying to perform it. And it's hard in a way because the song is very high energy. And it's like, you know, it's a, a, a good, uh, a good drum beat and the whole the whole idea of the song is about reminiscing in a way like i'm running down the alley sucking on my sucker thinking about this you know this this problem this abuser basically and uh you know in the in the um bridge part in the breakdown in the studio i was actually choking back tears trying to trying to get this part down on record and uh, every time I hear the recording, it makes me have a lump in my throat because I am transported, even talking about it, I'm transported uh, to that feeling every time. And when we perform it acoustically, which we do, uh, I embarrass Snake every performance because I always cry. <laughs> when I'm singing, he's like, you're supposed to be a tough ass. Why are you crying? And it's like, I don't really know. It just is so, it's emotional, you know? Uh, so I just, yeah, I think that a lot of people might not know that that song is very, very hard to sing. It's, it was performed and recorded from a very vulnerable place, the same place with which the lyrics were written. 